What's up? I'm Ben. I'm Rainy. And we're here with another podcast on the Journals of Awakening and today. Even, even though our last podcast was only like eight minutes long. That's going to be all right. I guarantee you it was longer. If not, we'll combine them. All right. So anyway. T- today we're going to talk about church. how the separation of church and state and doesn't state. exist. I, I say government. I don't know why she said state. That's That seems like it's too specific. I, didn't, I said church and state. S- oh, you say government. No. What'd you say? State? State is government. That's just how they... I'm not using their lingo. They're government, okay? So, church and government. Church okay? and the Illuminati. They are two different things, right? Like, churches don't pay taxes. Am I right? That's not a thing. Like, they don't pay taxes on churches and mm-hmm. shit. On the property rent and all mm-hmm. that. No. They get away with all kinds of shit. Murder, rape, all... Woo! Anyway. <laughs> so. So. <clears throat> ah! Why? On this almighty dollar bill does it say in god we trust because the government of the united states of america was built on religious freedom so when we separated from the brits or whatever and we left on to the mayflower okay the whole goal was to be able to celebrate whatever you wanted and at that time it was christianity we weren't allowed to celebrate it so all the Christians got on a boat and moved here and so they, they printed could. printed all the money and they've been yeah. printing it for hundreds exactly. of years. Exactly. So the, the founding fathers... Why haven't they corrected it? Why is it still speak. written on the money? The founding fathers came here and they were all Christian. Uh, dollar bills weren't printed until the very late 1700s. 1600. Some 17... That's way hundreds. far back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. That's way far forward from when they moved here, which means that, so there was still religious persecution, right? So if you weren't, you know, if you used herbs, you were a witch and you were burned at the stake or shit like that. Crazy shit. Yeah, religious people kill people all the time. That's what religions do. Exactly, exactly. It's murdering cults. I'm sorry, people, but I'm not sorry. You guys got to look, open your fucking eyes. Yeah, if we lose a couple subscribers, Except for you Asian people, I understand. I'm just... Who's so, subs? I'm watching the sub combo. Woo. I was actually thinking about this the other day. So us like white people, right? Oh no. You can't use that word. No. I said white people. <laughs> Back in the seventeen eighties or whatever. And they started rebelling and that's when like the Boston tea tea thing happened and all that. And if you were Catholic, you were the devil. If you were Puritan, blah blah blah. There was like there's still a stigma. But about Catholic it. is a branch of Christianity, am I right? Yes. They just decided we were going to go our own path, and that's why they were forsaken, right? Something like, I don't Like, honestly, I agree with your religion, but I want to alter it just a little bit. But that's how all religions are formed. Okay, but yeah. here's the thing. So, imagine. So, the Can first... we just be humans? The first people recorded on this earth were uh, black. Okay? Okay. Um, so... After that, you know, it goes Middle Eastern. I'm sure white people... So, when you say black, is that American black? Skin tone. Oh, okay. So, you're talking African-American? You're talking no, African? African. African. So, the closest okay, you can't just to say the... black. That shit is racist. Go no, on. No, no. Yes, it is. I'm talking about skin... Well, you didn't let me finish. Nope. Man, I ain't got no time for that. So, I'm <laughs> talking about skin tone. Do you know why black people are black? No. Because the clo- pigmentations. Yes, because the yes. closer you get to the equator, the more the sun shines down okay. or something Okay, yeah, like pigmentation, that. I knew that. Okay, yeah. obviously, you know. There, there's albino black guys. Yeah, so, you know, you know, uh, what's it called? Are they still black? What? No, they're... <laughs> you don't call them black, it's racist. Yes, when you get to that point. But I'm talking uh-huh. about, like, melanin in the skin. So, then you have evolution to where it branches off. My theory is that white people are last in this yeah. branch okay so you go back to like middle eastern or asian asian mm-hmm. cultures yeah which are definitely darker in skin tone where they believe in i don't think so i'm talking about really I, most asian women i've ever met were super pale all right I don't know if this is racist or not. We're just, Every bit of it's racist, we're, but we're not trying to be. We're just humans. We're just you know what having I mean? a conversation. We're having a conversation. Please so, don't get offended if you're offended. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no wanker. No uh, wanking in here. So Buddhism. Okay. Buddha. Start with Buddhism, which is all about finding yourself, right? Finding that nirvana through yourself. Right. Uh, that is the most accurate representation, I feel, 
That's the closest. Yeah. Like I said, I'd be a monk if I didn't. So be. I'm wondering if whites are so far behind that they're so Christian. Yeah. That they believe in all of this stuff, you know, like God created the world in seven fucking days. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it snapped a rib off Adam and we made a woman. Yeah, all that stuff. Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> like my dad. Like, do you believe in magic now? My dad showed up as witness. And he believes that shit to the core. And it blows my mind because he doesn't think that there's any other explanation for how we got it. And him. he sounds crazy when he preaches his I know, his I'm sorry, He literally dad, sounds borderline true. just... <laughs> but that's how all people think, okay? Yeah. But there's also the thing that in, in all reli religion, omnism, in all religions, there's truth, okay? Yeah. So you take the Bible, and there are things that can line up with the truth. Yeah. The truth that we are God, so, right? If we're made in God's image. Right. Okay? We are, all we are children God. of God. So, because I realized this when I was reading a book, and it said something about the Holy Spirit and how we all have the flame of the Holy Spirit inside of us. I don't know what that is. Oh, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Yeah, I knew the three were three head and one. Okay, but if I never the three heard, are uh, in one, and we're said. so the Holy Spirit's supposed to be inside of all of us. What always pissed me off is Jesus and God are two different people, yet they're the same. Person. I know. So listen, listen this, to my theory. So frustrating. So the Holy Spirit is supposed to be inside all of us, right? But if all three are the same in one, mm. that still makes us God. So why yeah. are people sitting here saying that we're not? I give it up to God. Powerful. When really, you need to be giving it up to your goddamn self. <laughs> because yourself is the only one you've got. It's yeah. the only one that matters. Yeah. You, only you can make can it. Can prevent forest fires. I agree. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> only Period. <laughs> <laughs> I think that America runs on Christianity, obviously, because it's printed Absolutely. on the money and churches and, and are it, excluded from taxes. And I find it unfair. Because... However, I don't think that most Americans are Christian. Really? I, I mean, I, anybody I've ever talked to, you believe in God? Yeah, I believe in going to heaven, right, I right. think. You're right. You know? I do believe that most of them are Christians, but I believe right. that there are so many more than just Christians, and it's so ignored. So, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You mean like the diversity of religion? You know, yeah. like Muslim are huge here in America. We have a lot of Muslim yeah, people here exactly. in America. Yeah, exactly. But it's not talked about. <laughs> I think that it goes so much deeper than that. And this is a rabbit hole that I'm not going to start because it's controversial, but the abortion thing. The only reason... Your body, your choice. Yeah, the only reason people actually care is because they think life begins at conception because of God. But statistically... You know, life doesn't begin like, until... Like, don't you believe in science? Yeah, life doesn't begin until, That's right. Until, like... If you are religious, you're not allowed to believe in science. Well, that's Isn't what I that liked correct? about the school that I went to. Okay. Big was Bang that in, in science class, she disagreed. She said, you have to have both, you know? Well, really? it's a Catholic school, so obviously she's oh, Catholic. Yeah, but she's like, you gotta you. have both, science and religion. You don't need one or the other. So, but I did have a religion teacher who uh, said that the dinosaurs weren't real. <laughs> I believe them. <laughs> I've she seen them. They were at the museum. That. I've seen them. <laughs> they was roaring and everything. If you're man. religious, you can't really believe in evolution. You <laughs> have to believe to. that you started as a human. So how the fuck did a tadpole happen? Yeah, tadpoles turn into fucking frogs. How's that possible, religion? That's wild. Break they it start down to me. Break it down to me. <laughs> so I mean, there's just so many babies start examples. out like this. And then they turn into this. How? Exactly. Now they evolve. <laughs> personally, I would never get an abortion because those are my personal beliefs. I have a spiritual attachment to anything about my body. And I agree with that. You know, yeah. if I'm growing my something kid, in my body, I have a personal attachment. But that to brings it. us back to your body, your choice. Yes, exactly. There could be a woman out there. Because that got let's raped. be honest. You are not mourning the abortion of that woman. You're not mourning that child. That child has nothing no, to do with you. You're going you. along with some bullshit statistic and you yeah. want to get your voice out there. Exactly. You, you're indoctrinated. Everybody you gets their own choice. Yep. So that's why Stop. Ben's going to tattoo his forehead. Yeah? I you caught that so? on your live. You like I that? did. And mm. I was like, your body, your choice. You're like, that'd be pretty sick. And I'm thinking I wear a beanie, I wear a hat. Nobody's going to see it anyway. I think it's kind of cool. The only people that get to see it is people that want to see it. Or when I'm about to fight somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think They're that like, what does that say? <laughs> this is your existence. And you're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want. Yep. 
and it goes so much deeper. You, you know how deep it goes? It goes, you're allowed to be as gay as you want. Like, wear whatever you want, you know? But where does it stop? It doesn't. No, hear me out. Where does it stop? Are you allowed to be criminal? Yeah, it's your body. Fine. Are you allowed to... Okay, as long as it's your body. Yeah, so there you go. Okay. There you go. That's great. As long as it's your body, it's your choice. The the worst people in prison, the child molesters, the predators, the people that kill people, they didn't get the choice of no. the crime that was committed. I mm. love the way you put that. I've never thought of it that plainly. Yeah. Your body, your choice. Yeah. Do not cut uh do no harm. Yep. You know, no, do no harm. No. You be criminal. You choose to hurt yourself. Whatever you gotta yeah, do. Go it's rob. Go rob no. a bank. Or whatever. I will not be. Hell, I do not condone that. This is for legal purposes. <laughs> um, but seriously, because that's no one's body. That's a no, piece of business. Exactly. Fuck that. Yeah. But you leave other people's body alone because right. nobody chooses that. You that's know, right. your body, your choice. Yeah. Period. And that goes both ways. You know. What but. I mean? It's still, I mean, you can do whatever you want, you know? Absolutely. You don't like your penis, cut it off. That's true. Whatever, you whatever, know? Whatever, dude, yeah. You were birthed, and you're going to get some side-eye glances from people who can't understand that this is a life where you can literally do whatever you want. Like, I'm going to get a testicle lifting. I'm going to get droopy. Whatever. <laughs> See, and that's the thing. So, personally, I like to be a little bit more natural, you know, but... You know, it's just because I'm uncomfortable with the idea that this is my own customizable avatar. Yeah. You know, I... I it's the tattoos. Yeah, you know? I tattoo whatever I want and wherever I want because I want to. You know, and that, that's the thing is I really believe that anybody can do whatever they want. And I hate that there are people who are called, you know, fake for doing things like that. Okay, so <laughs> let's talk about that. You're talking like boob implants. Yes. You would... That would not be fake. Your body, your choice. Exactly, because it's all about the ego. Yeah. Who cares if it's fake? And that's none of your business anyway. Don't look at her tits, man. <laughs> I, I know someone very close to me who has had, you know, breast implants. Mm -hmm. And, okay, okay, they look great now. I okay. didn't even know they were fake. Exactly. <laughs> they look she great. She told me. I was and like, really? I just no. think that. You know, it's nobody else's business whether a doctor put them in or not. Oh. They're still on her body. Just like the whole Kim Kardashian thing with her fake butt. Who gives a shit? Yeah. If that's what you're into, enjoy. If not, if fuck you off. like super <laughs> fake butts, yeah. what a, super super expanded butts. That's your deal, you know? I'm 100% sure her butt is real, but it's way too big. I'm just going to put that out there. For his liking. For my liking. You know, and I just I do not like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> I think that when people, if anyone has a, but what if, but, but no, you know, mm -hmm. separate yourself from your Absolutely ego. Absolutely no. If you're a woman and you want to grow a beard, fucking do it. Yeah. Separate you're gonna yourself get some from eyes. your ego and understand that everybody can else can do whatever they want with their yeah. life. And that, it's just brings, that easy. Brings me to painting my nails. Exactly. One of the hardest things I've ever done. I shit you guys not. And that, but, that's a trauma thing. That's an ego thing. thing. You yeah, know? like it's, I can't get past it. Like, but oh. like, why not? They're there. Why not put polish on them, you know? And I'm not gay. And I know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't tried. You don't know until you try it three times is what they say. <laughs> <laughs> can't knock it till you try it, right, man? Exactly. But that's another label, right? Yep. Not gay. No, and your sexuality is no one's fucking business exactly. except for the person you're fucking. Yeah, but <laughs> but even then, I mean, if you're enjoying what you enjoy, then enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Period. You know, it doesn't. If you get them in a sack and you want to put your finger in your butt, they're gonna have to get used to that. Exactly. <laughs> and if they don't like it, they can leave. <laughs> no. Yeah, I. Your body, your choice, and I think that everything is fluid. You're putting a foot in the camera. That's extra. <laughs> That costs extra. <laughs> <laughs> I really believe, because sexuality is the thing you're kind of traumatized in school for, you know? I, when I was like 10, a girl, I told a girl I had a crush on her brother, and she said, I thought you liked girls. And that obviously hit deep in my soul. I don't understand. Yeah. I yeah. mean, if somebody would no. tell me that, I was like, you thought I was gay? Yeah, I know. What? But I, to, to me, I was like ashamed because, you know, I when I was 12, I was kissing girls. <laughs> So it's like, I'm one, confused. how did she know that? But two, that's just curiosity as a kid. That's just new age also, guys. It's very new no, age. No, it, it's not that. It's just that's how girls are, you know, as kids. Because when you're a girl, 
Wow, dog. Boys are intimidating, and you're warned to stay yeah. away. And Boys nobody... are like, look at my penis. Yeah, you and know? you're like, oh, my God. And you guys are like, I want to fall in love. Yeah, and <laughs> girls are just naturally more emotional. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as I know, a lot of girls have had that phase when they were kids. And it's just a kid thing. But when you grow up, you decide what you like, and it's just like... You're know. naturally attracted to whatever you're going to be attracted to. My first I'm naturally was fifth grade. That's true. I've never tried anything else. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying is like I was nine when I kissed a girl the first time. You know, I kissed a girl. No, no but I the did. thing was is that like nobody taught me anything about my body or how the world's supposed to work or about well, consent. Well, that's because that's because that's no one's business but your own. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what parents are supposed to be there for. Yeah. To guide you. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't have been kissing anybody when I was nine. That's ridiculous. Uh, my sons do it. No. Is it Landon giving girls kisses right now? That was purely what his brother said. I believe him. And it's only because a girl kissed the top of his head. That's all it was. But I'm just saying, teach your kids. <laughs> because, yeah. Teach your kids. Because I grew up very confused because of this lack of attention at home and I acted out it that also way. also the age. I'm telling you, your whole generation, you guys are all questioning sexuality. Well, that's because when you grow up, it's traumatized into you, like you, you know? Because I grew up on what what is in the butt. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fucking scary, dude. But That's the last thing I want to think about is a big black man's penis in my butt. That's just me. That's because that sounds painful. And yeah. Painful and, Fuck, dude. <laughs> but that's the thing is, like... I've been constipated, okay? And it's not fun. You're going to be naturally attracted to what you're attracted to, and that's fine. That's uh, your body, your choice. And I think that people, like my niece's dad, he's extreme, right? I think that people like that, that criticize other people, are just really uncomfortable with themselves. Absolutely, Like, yeah. you can't handle that somebody... He probably has a hairy butt and he can't stand it or something. <laughs> yeah, He's like, exactly. ah, it looks like a cockawala. Yeah. <laughs> I think America has, Hello. America has been raised on this idea that you're supposed to be something and you're supposed to be with somebody certain, except the thing about the human brain is it's entirely horrendously complex. Yeah. You know, you say, or what you used to say, but you'll probably still say it, is that it's not natural. Now, that's a lot of arguments, you know, male and female. Well, you look at the animal kingdom. But if you look at the animal kingdom, there have been reports of same-sex relations with certain animals, number one. Mm -hmm. But number two, our brains are so much more emotionally complex that it gives us the opportunity to look at other things in a different way. Yeah. You know? Now, I'm not against anything. I believe in evolution. So I think, you know, oh, even though, even well, though animals may not be a bunch of gays, but yeah. humans may have evolved to that point. Yeah, because that's how our brains are. Does it make it wrong? You know what I mean? It just means that we've evolved. No, I, I like that explanation because that's a good explanation. If Hi! Because Sorry. <laughs> Those are the fully evolved people right there. <laughs> but you're not wrong, right? No. I mean, I think that... I wish I could be jolly and fucking nice and just fully accept my body for what it yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. And just fucking have no other opinion circling my brain except for my own. Exactly. That'd but be that's nice. not how it is. But I, I'm the same way. From childbirth, and you know? you know, it's just uh, see, there's good and bad about social media. Mm -hmm. The good is that you realize that most people have the same thoughts as you. Yeah. You pretty much don't have an original thought, and it's really easy to bond with people and get their ideas if you realize that we're all the same at the core. Yeah. The bad thing about social media is that the government uses it. To stick messages out there yeah. that get pushed out. Indoctrination. Yes, exactly. So it's, on one hand, you have people that love and accept everybody mm -hmm. and that teach other people to love and accept everybody. And then on the other hand, you have people that are also hating. It's Preach like, the complete opposite. Hear, hear me out. We go back to the beginning. Isn't it bad to be gay in religion? I, like, is there a religion that says it's okay? Or does religion have no idea because they were not nearly evolved? So that, no, that's a great no. question because there are people, okay, like the Pope. The Pope is stupid. But Pope likes boys, right? No. Oh, I don't know how that goes. That, that was an old Catholic priest thing. And oh, that, okay. And that, that was like 50 or so years ago. 
The Pope said that it's okay to feel attraction towards the same sex as long as you don't act on it, right? There's that second part. But the fact that he said it's okay to feel attraction means that the people, the Christian people over there hating people because of because they're gay, that's a them problem. You know? Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so nobody far. knows what God wants. No one knows shit anymore. Everybody's yeah, got their own God. ideas in their heads. We are really all God. Just, we're all fucking humans. Pick your own life. Do your own thing. That's it. You're a human. I am a human. She's a human. She. I can do anything she can do. She can do anything I can do. Yep. You but know what I mean? with Except your for, like, own reach body. that cup in the top. You know, I got to get yeah, that sometimes. I can get but. a stool. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, though? Child so, feels she needed to pet the cat yesterday, so I bent down and I gave her a hand because the cat was up. I high. wanted to kiss the cat. <laughs> I have arms. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so so oh, we're, we're gonna nubby. end this podcast on one. The government is entirely fake. We should be able to do whatever the fuck we want. Stop participating Anarchy, with their bullshit. Baby. Seriously, stop participating. And number two, your body, your choice, and that means anything. But their body, their choice. Don't fucking touch another human being That's without right. consent. It's fucking right. And on that note. We thank you. Peace. Peace.